So today in this video, I am going to share my interview experience for a data scientist job role at Tech Mahindra. If you have been following me on this channel or maybe on LinkedIn, then you might already know that I left TCS back in the month of Feb. And then for next two to three months, I was open for jobs and I was giving multiple interviews as well. Previously on this channel, I have also shared my interview experience with Cognizant. And if you are connected with me over LinkedIn, then you might already know that I have joined the company. So currently I'm a Cognizant employee. However, I was still willing to share this particular interview experience on this channel because this opening was for a tech lead band at Tech Mahindra. And sharing my interview experiences is one of the most requested topic by most of the subscribers on this channel. So make sure that you watch this video till the end to gain the most out of this entire interview experience. So basically this interview happened back in the month of May. So I know that I'm recording this particular video slightly late, but it is because I was really busy and stuck with my onboarding process at Cognizant. But anyways, let's come to the point. The interview started with basic questions related to my educational and my professional background. And I was also asked to discuss about my responsibilities at the current organization for the job role where I was working. So clearly the interviewer was particularly interested to know that what kind of projects I've been doing in past and what sort of work experience I've had. So it doesn't matter if you're appearing for the interview of a data analyst or data scientist or maybe any other role from the field of analytics, you should be expecting this question. And you should answer in such a way with a sort of using the skill of storytelling that the interviewer should have some idea around your curiosity towards the field of analytics and skills like let's say Python, SQL or machine learning. Try to talk around that how during your educational background or maybe your professional background you developed the analytical skills within yourself. How did you actually learn Python, SQL or machine learning and how did you manage to get projects and implemented your knowledge around it. So basically the response should be coming from your side in such a way that it clearly shows your curiosity and interest towards this particular field. So going ahead, the interviewer delved deeper into the details of my last two projects. He started asking me questions around that what type of data set was there in the previous projects. He wanted to know about the data types or the feature types which was included within the data set and how I actually performed the techniques like feature engineering, pre-processing, data cleaning or handling null values or maybe statistical modeling. In a nutshell, he wanted me to go in all the details that how exactly I implemented my entire knowledge to create value for the business in order to complete the project. And within this particular session, the interviewer was interested in understanding that how I had hyper tuned the machine learning models and how exactly I evaluated the performance of the machine learning model. So I can tell you one thing for sure that within your entire interview, doesn't matter if you're appearing for a data analyst or data scientist or maybe business analyst job role. This particular question where the interviewer is asking you to talk about the details of your previous projects and how you implemented your knowledge and what kind of statistical or analytical techniques you have used. This particular question can actually decide your selection or rejection for the interview. Yes, it really has so much of potential. So please do not try to avoid or skip this question in any manner or do not even rush when you are answering for this particular question. Try to be very precise and detailed with your responses. So I'll tell you exactly what you need to say. Any type of feature engineering, data cleaning task that you have performed, be it handling outliers, or finding correlation between multiple features or applying any kind of statistical method. Please try to talk around these things in as detailed manner as possible. Because with your response over here at this particular point, the interviewer is trying to evaluate you that are you going to be a good fit for the opening that they have. So please keep this thing in mind and prioritize this particular question as much as possible because your response for this particular question really adds a lot of weightage to your entire interview experience. So moving ahead, the interviewer asked me around 15 to 20 back to back questions around machine learning and deep learning. I will try to show you a list on your screen of all the machine learning topics that I was asked during this particular interview session. As much as I can remember as of now, I was asked about concepts like bias variance, R-square or adjusted R-square, different types of evaluation matrix and my conceptual understanding between bagging and boosting techniques. I remember that I was particularly asked about the bootstrapping concept within random forest model. In case you are not familiar with that particular concept, please try checking out the machine learning playlist within this channel. I have covered this topic within details in a dedicated lecture for random forest algorithm. Anyways, the idea is that if you are appearing for at least a data scientist job role and and maybe sometimes for a data analyst job role as well, you will be definitely asked questions around machine learning fundamentals. On top of this, this particular opening also required a strong knowledge around the NLP area. So the interviewer was asking me questions around neural networks, concepts like RNN, 
LSTM and GRU and NLP techniques such as stemming, lemmatization and my experience around text pre-processing using regex module. In fact, I was also given a couple of coding questions within the live interview itself to solve by sharing my screen. This may add an extra level of complexity for a lot of people but let me tell you that the question given over here was really basic. Anyone who has practiced Python for like 2-3 to three months can easily solve it and I'm talking about absolute beginners. And going by my experience of other data science interviews that I have given in past, most of the times the coding question that you will be given to solve live within the interview will not be that much difficult as on a level of a software engineer. Now a lot of people will have a curiosity to know that what question exactly was asked over here, what coding problem was given to me and how I solved it exactly. So I will add a snip on the screen for you so you can pause the video and check it out. You can check out the question and the solution as well that you need to take in order to solve it. Although I was given two python problems to solve within the interview but as of now I can recall of only one so apologies for that. So overall it was a really good experience. It helped me realizing the need of a very strong foundation around the data science topics starting from python, sql, statistics or maybe machine learning. And one more thing that I was able to realize in my experience of past two to three months of giving multiple interviews is that it doesn't matter that how complex machine learning or deep learning topic you understand. More important is that how simplified manner you can use in order to explain the topic within the interview. This particular thing is also a very crucial skill and requires a lot of practice around it. So in a nutshell, if you're someone who is preparing for a data science interview or who is looking forward to make a career within the field of analytics, then please primarily focus on building the foundational skills. Secondly, start practicing those, be it Python, SQL or machine learning, do projects around it, and be consistent with the entire preparation thing. Since you decided to watch this video till the end, I also want to give you an additional tip that will help you in any sort of interview. In case you are being asked a particular question that you do not know the answer for. In that case, accept immediately that you currently cannot recall of that particular topic or you are not aware of that particular concept instead of remaining quiet and wasting the time. Because it is totally okay that if you are being asked 10 questions, then you may not aware of the answer for let's say two to three questions. It is fine to do that. But instead, if you start taking stress around it and you go absolutely mute and then you start wasting the time, then this will badly impact your communication and representation skill. So this was it for today's video. Please drop a like below if you found it useful. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to watch this kind of content going ahead. My name is Vikash and I thank you very much for watching till the end.